Hello friends, this video on Mineral Nutrition Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us see what is essential and what is non-essential minerals. Now the name itself is to some extent self-explanatory. Essential, something which is must. It is necessary. You just cannot do without it. So that is essential. So there are one set of mineral elements which are extremely necessary by a plant. The plant just can't do without it. It has a primary role to play in a plant. So they are necessary for a plant for growth and reproduction. So necessity is the term or it is the basic term here when we talk about essential mineral elements. Because the plant, it is not an optional thing. It is necessary. If it is not there, the plants will suffer. Examples of essential mineral elements are nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, potassium, calcium, magnesium. So these are all examples of essential mineral elements. So they are extremely necessary for the growth and reproduction because if they are not there, the growth is going to stop. Reproduction is going to stop. So eventually the plant life cycle will not be completed. And moreover, these essential mineral elements cannot be replaced by some other element. For example, let us suppose if there is no nitrogen available to a plant. And if you think, okay, if nitrogen is not there, maybe some other element will replace it. But that is not possible. So when you talk about essential mineral element, you need that particular element in the right amount. And without that, the plant is going to suffer a loss. The second category is non-essential mineral elements. So the plants, if these elements are there, it is better. But even without these, the plant can do on its own. So they are not absolutely necessary for a plant. However, they are good to have. So they promote plant growth. So you look at the difference. There it was for essential elements, it was necessary for plant growth. But for non-essential elements, it promotes plant growth. So it also helps in plant growth. But even if it is not there, the, and if the essential mineral elements are there, the plants will still continue to grow. They are also termed as beneficial elements. That is because if they are present, it is a benefit to the plant. But even if they are not present, the plants will not die. Examples of such elements are silicon, cobalt, selenium, sodium. These are all examples of non-essential mineral elements. Now there is another category of elements which are called essential non-mineral elements. So they are essential, that means obviously they are very much necessary, but they are non-mineral. What do we mean by non-mineral? So here we were talking about mineral nutrition. So from where do we get this term non-mineral? Let us see what are they. So these elements are necessary for a plant. Necessary and that is why they are called essential. But they are taken up in the form of water or air. So they are necessary, but they are not taken up from the soil or they are not taken up in the form of minerals. They are taken up in the form of water or air. So when the plants get water, it, it gets these elements from water itself. And examples of such non-mineral elements are carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So now here, as I mentioned before also, this carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Plants obtain them in the form of water or air. So water gives hydrogen and oxygen. Carbon is obtained from carbon dioxide. So that means they are they were no they are never obtained from the soil as such. So that is why they are called essential non-mineral elements. So these three elements, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, they are not considered as minerals. So here in this lesson, since we are talking about mineral nutrition, so we will talk about all these elements, the essential mineral elements and the non-essential mineral elements. So let us now look at the main characteristics which defines an essential mineral element. How do we know which mineral elements are essential? Necessary for growth and reproduction, as I mentioned before also, those elements have to be must for the growth and reproduction or for the completion of the life cycle of a plant. They are extremely required. Not replaceable by another element. Again, um, as I said, if nitrogen is necessary for plant, it cannot be replaced by any other mineral. Nitrogen is required means nitrogen itself is required. 
direct role in metabolism like uh, the different metabolic activities taking place inside a plant's body whether it is assimilation or excretion they play an important role or the process of photosynthesis also so for everything they play a very important role so these are some of the characteristics which defines whether a mineral element is essential or non-essential thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.